What's going on guys? In this video we're going to take a look at how to install Metasploit Framework on your iPhone. I'm running it on my iPhone X here, jailbroken with check rain. I have shown you how to do that in a previous video. Very easy. We have other jailbreaks available like Uncover as well. That's up to you. But I had another video showing you how to do Metasploit Framework. It has since stopped working because some of the gems and some of the dev files were not good anymore so in this video i'm going to show you how to get that up to date and fully working as you can see by the example here on screen so let's dive into it all right so the first thing we're going to need is a file manager if you're jailbroken you probably already have filza but if you don't, go ahead on Cydia, type Filza File Manager, that's going to bring it up. Go ahead and install it. Now, in order to run Metasploit Framework, we're obviously going to need a terminal. I recommend using New Term since that seems to be the most compatible with the iOS versions 14. So let's go ahead and download that as well. All right, now we need to add Mac Apollo's repository. So the easiest way to do this, you can just head over to Google and type Mac Apollo repo, and that's going to bring up the first link. And there should be a convenient link there for you to just add it to Cydia. And from there, it should automatically load all the sources for you. All right, at this point, we're gonna need to download two separate files. One is a .deb package, and the other is a pre-compiled Ruby gems. These are the work of two different Redditors, and they both contributed to get Metasploit working properly for the jailbroken iPhone. Big shout out to them, not be possible without them. So let me put the links below so you guys can go ahead and download it. I'll try to keep another copy on my blog. So download those two files. Then once you've done that, head over to the file manager and let's head back to the root directory and hit the search bar and let's search for rubygems.rar and that should bring up the downloads folder. From there, you can continuously press rubygems.rar and open it in an closing folder. That way we have another tab. Now, what we're trying to do is we want to copy the .deb package to an easier directory so we can go ahead and install it from terminal. So let's hit copy and then I'm going to head over to my slash user slash documents directory. That should be easy enough. And yeah, let's proceed to install it using new term. All right, so you want to make sure you're a super user. So type SU, the default password is Alpine. And from there, let's navigate into slash user slash documents. And then we can go ahead and install the package using dpkg hyphen i and the name of the package. Sweet. Now we're ready to install Metasploit framework from Cydia. So we should be able to go there and search for Metasploit and it should bring up Mac Apollo's package. And this time if you go ahead and hit install, it should go through without any SDK problems because that's the package we just installed manually. All right, we're almost done guys. Now that we've done that, we have to extract the rubygems.rar 
from the downloads folder it's going to extract the 2.5.0 folder now let's go ahead and copy that folder and then we have to extract the precompiled gems into a specific directory so you want to head back to the root folder and we're looking for slash user local lib ruby gems and then inside of that directory you want to paste the folder you just copied and i went ahead and hit merge and that should take a little bit and that's it we're ready to install metasploit framework now all we have to do is head back to terminal cd into the slash opt slash metasploit framework directory and inside that directory you're gonna find a install.sh script and we can go ahead and run that script and that should take care of installing all the dependencies and from that point on we can run msf console So that's going to be it for this video guys, now you can have a little fun with Metasploit Framework on your jailbroken iPhone. You can see I actually took over a few capture the flags here from Hack the Box just using my iPhone. So it's pretty cool, maybe you're bored, you're stuck somewhere and you got your iPhone with you. You can turn on your VPN profile and hop in there and capture some flags. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.